Hello, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and in this video I'll show you how you can easily convert any photograph into a spreadsheet painting. Before we jump into the actual implementation, let me show you some cool examples. Now if you look closely into any of these paintings, you will notice that they are actually made up of hundreds of cells and each cell has a different background color. Now when these cells with different background colors are seen together, they seem to resemble the actual photograph. So if you're wondering how this was done, it's actually very simple. Uh, first let's go and find a picture on the internet. Uh, you can use any picture. The only thing that you need to remember is that the image should be small. It should be really small because the program has to read every pixel of the image and convert it into a corresponding hex color. So maybe try picking an image that's about 200 pixels or 300 pixels wide. And uh, this one looks good for our project. So we'll just save it to our local disk. Next, we'll switch to the Google Spreadsheet template. Uh, you can find a link to this spreadsheet in the show notes. And here, go to the Spreadsheet Art menu that's near Help and choose Upload Image. Now select the image that we just downloaded from the internet and upload it to the spreadsheet. Internally, it's reading the image pixel by pixel and then it's trying to figure out what's the color of each pixel and then it will try to write that color in the corresponding cell of the spreadsheet. So now that the image has been successfully uploaded, you will notice that the cells are filled with some values. Well, these are hex color codes and they correspond to the uh, pixel colors of the actual image. So the next thing we need to do is apply the background colors and make them equal to the cell value. So for instance, if the cell value is hash 00 for a cell, that means that color, the background color of the cell has to be black. So we can apply these background colors manually, uh, but this is obviously a tedious thing to do because there are hundreds of cells in the spreadsheet. So we can use a function for that and that is step two, apply colors. So once the colors have been applied, you'll notice that the sheet is now beginning to resemble the actual photograph. Of course, it looks very pixelated, but uh, you still get some idea of what this whole uh, thing is about. Now we can get rid of the cell values since we no longer need them. So I'll just select all the cell values and press the delete key to clear them. We can also hide the grid lines of the spreadsheet and now if you look at the image, it's definitely better than the previous version but uh, comparing it to the original, it's still nowhere close. And do you know why? Well, the answer is simple and it lies in the size of the cell. Now you know that pixels are square in shape, but if you look at the cells of a spreadsheet, they are more or less uh, rectangular in shape, right? Uh, the, the, if you look at the row height or the column width, they are not perfect squares. So what we need to do now is convert our these rectangular cells into perfect squares. To make these cells perfect squares, we have a function that's fixed sizes. So you go to the spreadsheet menu and choose step 3. Now here enter the size of the cell. Uh, so for instance, let's choose 5 pixels for this example. And what it will do is it will convert every single cell into a square of 5 pixels by 5 pixels. And voila, there you have it. Your spreadsheet art is now ready. And if you compare it to the original, it looks very, very similar. Of course, a bit pixelated because our image size was very small, but still very, very close. I hope you like it and thank you for watching this video. This is Amit Agrawal and you can visit my website controlq.org for more Google scripts and tutorials. Thanks.